George Hartsman, 2506 Bay Tree Drive. Nancy Hoffman voted for DGI funding and signed for DGI paid for benefits that will increase the value of her property via tenant who must have known she legislated the tax funds their way. She was involved in the process by setting to a deal which improves her property with everyone else's money. She voted herself money through her tenant. She signed for it. She was involved in the process by consenting to a deal in which she profited. I'm saying it's a violation of Greensboro's charter ordinance. The authorization Nancy often signed for her incoming tenants is for a type of facility apparently all other similar business owners are not allowed to have. And it seems also that none like it have ever received such a grant. The DGI grant, which will increase the value of Nancy Hoffman's building, looks like it would be unprecedented in that DGI would allocate uh, taxpayer money to a bar restaurant. The retail renovation grant program states, RGP funds will not be made available for use in improvements related to a nightclub, restaurant, office, business, business sales, and similar project. From a news report on the uh, uh, tenant going in, in 1898, uh, building's first tenants in several decades will be a bookstore and wine bar. Hoffman voted to allocate taxpayer money to DGI, which is a funding which is funding a grant that will benefit Nancy Hoffman's personal property. It's a conflict of interest if five votes says so. One has to make a motion to discuss it, and another has to second the motion. Then debate unfolds in a vote. The vote determines whether or not there is a conflict of interest. All the expert opinions and lawyers' opinions are tertiary to a council vote. I would like to see the de debate take place because it needs to, because you do not police yourselves at the moment and you need to start policing yourselves. The appearance of conflict of interest makes this council look corrupt. I would like to see the debate take place because it's in the best interest of city taxpayers to shed some light, sunlight on these backroom deals involving public monies. If we have the debate, this stuff is unlikely to take place again as often going forward. Please have a debate. Figure out what's a conflict, what's not. You have to police yourselves. 